Good evening, everyone. My name is Jerry L. Sheely, and I'm your host of the Clean Your Feet Show. Welcome, and thanks for joining us. Well, today's on, so I'm not going to hold you long, but let's do this work. Today, I got updates, and I got history. Updates, and I got history. Today, I got updates and history. First of all, when did Americans start taking showers? Because see, back in the day, we didn't have showers, right? Not until the 1950s. 1950s was when plumbers and people were beginning to build more showers in homes. Before then, you heard that saying, don't throw the baby out with the bath water. That was real. Back in the day, they had a basin, right? And they were washing the basin with the water. Everybody would, and the family. And the baby was the last one to get into the basin. And the water was dirty and murky, so they couldn't see the baby. So they said, be careful, and don't throw the baby out with the bath water. That's what it meant. It was real. And why is that baby in that dirty water? I don't understand. But anyway, let's get it popping. Now until the 1950s is when showers became more prevalent in homes and houses in America. Only the rich, of course, had them at first. People were taking baths and buckets and everything else. Um, so it was amazing. So the baby's in the bath water. I don't understand it anyway. But don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Don't throw out something good to get rid of something bad. That's what it means, okay? So now, first of all, we have the silent generation. The silent generation, they were around the 1950s. They were in the civil rights area, era, era. And they were folks, uh, you know, before Martin Luther King Jr. got to walking those streets and doing their work, these members of society of the silent generation, they felt it was more important to focus on their careers than activism, okay? And uh, so they were also more along the lines of, you know, let's don't do a whole lot of making a lot of noise. They believed that keeping silent was best. Okay, uh, the next generation we had was the special generation, uh, uh, ten, ten, the baby boomers. The baby boomers. Now, uh, they were, they rejected and redefined traditional values. They wanted to think differently in the baby boomers. Anyway, they were making more money, uh, they were more fit, and they were more active in life. So baby boomers began to take showers because they didn't have that time. And then you have what's called the youngers. Young, urban, well no, not urban, but they were urban too. Young professionals, the yuppies. And they were more about that money. So they're making money, they're wearing suits, they're doing business, they ain't got time for no bank. So they start taking showers, they're checking their watch all the time. The yuppies, the young urban professionals, young professionals. Uh, and also then you have Generation X, uh, my group. Well, well don't, don't, don't take the clock anyway. But Generation X was the latchkey kids. The latchkey kids. Mothers were working more, right? And kids had to come home and take care of themselves. And, and back in my day, my mom would be like, uh, you're not getting in no shower. You better get your butt in that bathtub. We took baths sometimes like once a week. Right? You didn't get a chance to take no shower. Showering was a privilege, right? So we took baths back in the day and because you couldn't do it because you weren't grown enough. We taking no shower, no house. How old are you? I want to see you take a bath and I want to see that dirty bathtub ring to verify it. Because I'll be in the back in the shower with the water running. Oh my! <laughs> yeah, the shower water is beautiful. I'm taking a bath. I'm taking a bath. I meant mom. I'm taking a bath. And she busts the door open. I'm there with my, with my camouflage uniform on. Sorry mom, I'm getting the water right now. So that's what we did. And last but not least was the millennials. You guys, you digital, Facebook, Twittering, uh, don't have time to do nothing but watch TV and say that. You guys, the millennials, the digital world, you guys sitting around, grudging a little bit, you don't have time for no baths, right? You got to ask your Facebook likes. What if you miss a Facebook like? That's why you guys always take showers as well because you don't have the time. So those are some of the groups of how showering came over to this world. Of course, the rich always got the edges and the advantages, of course, and then it's going to come along. Not everybody's taking a shower, but... Don't throw the baby out with the bath water was real. Uh, taking a shower uses about 80 liters of water. Uh, taking a bath, about 150 liters of water. Save some water on your water bill. Now let me get to my most exciting part of the program. Some of the things we're going to be doing here in the near future. First of all, I'm going to do a live broadcast next week with my karate instructor, I, Jerry Alshili, am a licensed authorized black belt of Taekwondo champion, Jack Dark. We're going to be doing it because who if you don't do martial arts, if you don't do karate, if you don't fight with your feet, you don't know what I'm talking about. We used to fight with our feet in karate all the time, and so who needs this more? I'm going to let all my karate buddies all over the world. I used to fight in tournaments all over the world. And then, you know, they started getting afraid of me, so I had to stop. So, karate people, I'm coming. Jack Dog Taekwondo Studios, the military, the Norfolk, I'm coming. And we bring in the banner, and we're going to do a live show and watch my karate instructor, who's one of the best top karate instructors in half the world, show you about feet maintenance and how women do karate. Your feet be hurting and sore. We take tournaments and we fight and we in the shower. Oh, we can't bend over. This device will make it easy for a karate man to clean his feet. I'm so excited. Updates. 
Uh, number one is, um, I will have the prototype. I will have my device. I will have my sample in my hand in just a very, very short period of time. In my hand, I'm a little bit slow. And when I touch it, and if it's right, and if it does what I invented it to do, we're going to hit the manufacturing button, and then next month, October, we'll be transferring uh, a shipment of those products to Clearwater, Florida, to the Home Shopping Network, and guess who? Me will be on the show. The Home Shopping Network, because they're my team members, and I want to thank everybody for your support. Number two, um, Home Shopping Network is going to be a, a very big launch for us, but we're doing so many things. My team, I got, a, I got an amazing team with Wendy and Lou and, and Brewington. Tony, my team is amazing. They're doing that work. It's amazing. Everybody talk about doing work, but everybody don't do the work. I'll make them do the work. Name my first rodeo. So if you're serious, you want to come on board, come help us. We're looking for a lot of folks to come out there. We're going to put this on the market. Also, two weeks left. Two weeks left for the IPO. Thank you, people. Thank you for uh, my buddies. That's amazing how many folks are giving me money. Sending their money in and getting a piece of this pie. I'm so thankful. I'm, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. Uh, uh, next week, next Thursday, I will be doing a live blog radio show on blogradio.com slash punch TV. Have you ever heard of punch TV? They get, they're blowing up big time. And I'm going to be with the CEO of punch TV. Come on, y'all. Mr. CEO Joseph Collins uh, of the punch TV studios. Next week, Thursday at 1.30. Uh, be there. Check for the updates. Come check your boy out. Man, we are blowing up. We are having a ball. The Clean Your Feet movement is just picking up unbelievable seeds. We're going to be doing things in the community for a long time. We're going to be feeding people, taking care of folks. The more we make, the more we're going to do. So all I can say right now to everybody out there, thank you for your support. Thank you for my team. Thank you for my, all my investors that are coming in. It ain't too late. But don't forget, the game is on and clean, clean, clean your feet.